Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is our 18th video for Django e-commerce website. And in this video, we will work on price range, range filter. Okay. So first of all, what we will do, we are not showing a price of any product, but uh, first we will show the price of product uh, after the title. And then here we will add the price filter before the color filter. We will add the price slider in which we will select the maximum value and the minimum value from 0 to we will select the maximum value so that we can <coughs> we can filter the products according to the uh, according filter the product according to the price according to the uh, maximum price okay so in this video we will implement these things but the first thing we need to show the price <coughs> i will not uh, work on the functionality in this video i will just show the price and add the filter here after, uh, before the color uh, before the color filter i will add the price filter okay let's see how we can do this so i have opened my uh, first we need to show the price so i will open the i will open the index.html file and after the title <coughs> after first of all i will make this title h5 okay and then after the title here uh, one thing we need to remember that our price is depend upon the variation variation means depend upon the color and size if i will open the product attributes then our price is depends upon the color and size so we need to fetch the price from the attribute similar uh, as we are showing the image from the this image is first image of the of the product 3 okay <clears throat> so here we will rupees and we will apply the same method that we are applying for the image and here the image we will replace the image with the price okay let's see what we have if i refresh this then it is showing the product to 300 price let's see we have a product to 300 price okay so now we are showing the price now we will show the price on the product list page so i'll copy this and i'll open the product list page <coughs> product list page and i'll show the price after the title okay yeah so this is the thing so now it is showing the price similarly we need to show the price on category list and uh, brand list page so i'll open the category list products and brand list products and we will show the price here and uh, we will change the title we will copy this and paste it here okay yeah so now it is showing the products with price okay if i'll go to this then we have a price in detail i'm just checking in the detail that price is showing yes price is showing yeah now the second thing is we need to add the filter so i will open my so you have to change the page in a uh, front page index page product list page brand product list page and category product list page i will upload all the code all the files on github so i have i have given the link in the description so you can check and you can download the whole project source code and uh, you can do practice okay now here we will copy this filter and before this filter i will use this is filter price or you can say this is price filter price filter okay and this will be our price okay and here we will refresh this now we will remove this and we will add this here list and here what we will do input type 
to range this range will be automatically make a slider okay so that we can slide this this make will be automatically make a slider now what we need to do i will create a input when we slide this then it will then it will uh, get this get this value get this value into the input and we have to define the minimum and maximum value so here we will define the minimum zero and the maximum value will be 100 but we are defining this value as a static but this value we will fetch this value from the uh, product attribute from 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 the all products we will fetch the maximum value maximum price and we will also fetch the minimum price so that we can vary between in these price okay so we will do this in our next section okay now in the next in the next list we will define a number and this will be our maximum number so that user can see the number that what is the maximum number okay so now what we need to do when it is change it when it will change then we need to get this input and make this input in this input so here we have a on input i will define here id this will be max price okay and the max price dot value equal to this dot value okay so refresh this when we change this then it will show the value in the max price okay similarly we will do the reverse thing when we click on this 50 then it the slider should automatically goes to the 50 point okay so what we will do here on key up i will apply the on key up event on key up yeah so this will be id I, our id will be range input range input and in the this range input is, is the range input value is depend upon the current value so let's check this if i will put 100 then it will be 100 if i will put 50 then it will be 50 okay now our main task is to filter this data okay so one thing we need to uh, we need to attention on this uh, filter when we filter this then it will also uh, it will also check that that other filter has selected or not it means when we slide this then we will run the event and it will check it will get the checked value and uh, we will show the uh, we will show the product according to the according to this price if nothing is selected then we will show all the products with this price range okay so we will do this in our next section or in our next video okay so that i am doing this step by step because i want i want that you understand all the things very well you can you have a time uh, you will have a time to practice this okay and uh, you can implement your own things you can implement your own code okay so that i am doing this step by step <clears throat> so i hope you have cleared uh, i hope you have cleared all the things and if you have any question or any doubt then please add in the comment section and uh, please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed and please like this video share this video okay so thank you thank you very much for watching this video if you have if you have any thought about this project or about the any future project then please add in the comment section and uh, i will i will i will uh, create the video for that project if i like the project and uh, uh, i will create the video and uh, yeah so thank you thank you so much for watching this video and please stay tuned with the this series and uh, subscribe like share this channel thank you thank you so much